The inspiration behind the design of the Science and Health Building was a huge desire from the university to create a new landmark building for not just the Health and Life Science faculty but also for the university but also to create a state-of-the-art learning experience. There's a lot of immersive spaces in here. Uh, it's concentrated very much towards simulation-based learning. There's a real desire now that the best way to learn a subject is to actually do it. And the way you want to do it is to make sure that it looks realistic and, and is immersive completely. The design process encouraged us to think more carefully about what we'd like our facilities to look like in the future instead of the more traditional looking uh, classrooms and, and simulation areas that we had with sort of in, in places outdated technology we could look for something that would really meet with our education strategy and enable students to learn in many different ways Lab Plus is an exciting yet challenging space within the building and it was an exciting part of the original brief. The challenge was to create a large scale single room laboratory for up to 250 undergraduate students to do science. We concentrated on how we could get 250 students into the space safely and efficiently. Um, so we have two arrival zones, one on the east wing, one on the west wing. Manage the process of the students coming in and coming out of the lab but also having a large area within the laboratory so you can encourage migration throughout the space. The material palette for the Science and Health building has been kept deliberately small. We've only used four key components within the main building. We've used a handmade brick externally which we've brought inside the building as well so just to give that, that texture and warmth. We've amplified that with, with the timber within the building. Um, the rest of it is, is keeping the, the reinforced concrete, using it as an expressive external feature and then keeping as much light as we possibly can by having lots of glass. So it's a very permeable building and really amplifying those three core internal materials of concrete, timber and brick. We're very excited about the prospects and opportunities this building provides for us. We think that uh, potential students uh, will be very keen to come here and join us. This is live action. Ergonomically shaped for everything we need, from high dependency units, down to the general wards, down to the open spaces and the labs. The layout of the building is kind of flowing for the patient journey, so you can go from one room to another, from a ward to the theatre, to home, and I think that's really important for everyone who's healthcare students to understand. You don't get that experience of all of these settings on placement as you can in this building. The Science and Health building is now complete. Um, personally it's been a great rewarding experience from, from start to finish um, but the icing on the cake really has, is actually seeing the building in use. Seeing how all the different types of pedagogy is actually being done, um, we've talked about it for a long time, actually seeing it happen is, is fabulous um, and the feedback has been, been absolutely great. Thank you.